a big game coming up at the weekend. Now, the qualification for the Champions League is in Celtic's hands ahead of these two games, two wins and we're qualifying. How important is that in the dressing room and is the girls really up for this? Um, the Champions League is something that we have spoke about at the start of the season, um, but our focus is just getting the three points um, on Sunday. It will be tough. Well, for gave is a good game the last time at Cape Park, so we're just concentrating and focusing on us and getting three points. They'll get one eye on the league title? Of course, yeah. It's always in the back <laughs> of your mind, but you need to stay focused and take a game by game. Well, good luck for the weekend. Thank you. Uh, hi, Chloe. Hi, John. Uh, hi, Anne. So, are you expecting a tough game in, uh, at the weekend because the two games against four for the season have been really different? Yeah, of course. Um, they're a tough team. Um, they try and break us down, but um, we've had good results before. We know that we can beat them. We know that we can we can take the game to them. So we just need to focus on us and play our game. And the defence has been in great form recently. That must be a good thing for the team. Of course, yeah. I think the girls have all played a massive part this season, um, especially these last few games coming up. Um, we've had tough teams, but we've all had that hunger and that passion. Um, to go out and play for each other and get the three points. So, yeah, everything's looking good. The girls are looking good. So, fingers crossed. Thanks, Chloe. Good luck at the weekend. Thank you. Hi, Chloe. Hi, David. I just wanted to ask you about the, the, the change in the tactics. Obviously, you've been at the club quite a while. Um, but since uh, it seems to that Fran Alonso has introduced something um, Quite different, quite remarkable, actually. If you take those three last three goals they scored against the Rangers last week and against Hibs in midweek, three different corners, three goals. I mean, it's quite incredible, really. Yeah, I know. Um, I think the tactics that we've had with Frank coming in have been amazing. Um, it's something different, that, and we haven't had that um, the past few seasons. Um, but it just shows that he knows his knowledge and what he knows works for us. So, yeah, it's been all positive for us. Great, thank you. Good luck on Sunday. Thanks, David. Um, so that's two uh, very, very important results in a row. Um, I was just wondering, mentally speaking, how important was that win against Hibs? Because that was uh, an incredibly hard-fought victory in the end. It's always hard, like, against Hibs, um, especially on the part that we were playing at. Um, we know that they're a good team. Uh, they give up a tough fight, but with the way the standings are in the league just now, we knew that we had to go on and get the three points and nothing less. So we were just happy and thankfully that we went and done that. But mentally, we were all up for it. As soon as we got there, like everybody was ready to go. So that just gave us that extra boost that we needed on the park. Mm -hmm. um, just going back to the start of the season, uh, what were kind of your expectations and the expectations of the players uh, when the season began? And did the time away from uh, playing games, obviously, in lockdown, did that have any kind of galvanising effect? Because, I mean, since then, you know, you, you've been on absolute fire. So what kind of impact did that have? You would think it would uh, have like an impact on we wouldn't be back as fit as what we should have been. Um, but for us, it was the total opposite. We came back, we went to go, we were fit. We were on Zoom calls, like near enough every single day. We were like, we had a program, so we were fitter than we have ever been coming back from lockdown. And I think that just helped us take that step up and just show that we're here and we're ready to go for the league and the titles. Hi, Chloe. Amy from 20 Minute Tins. Uh, I was wondering, you've had a really tight turnaround between games recently, but you've managed to maintain such a strong run of form. What's been the team's priority in training when you've got so little time in between games? I think it's just all about recovery and how you deal with it and like how you eat, especially after like a game. Um, we have like a big enough squad that we can rotate, but it's just about looking after yourselves and just taking it easy after each game. Cool, thanks. Good luck at the weekend. Thanks, Amy. Chloe, um, if you make it through to the Champions League, what would that mean to you as a player? Um, for me personally, it would be a dream come true. Um, it's something that I never thought that I'd be a part of. Um, but for the club, it would be amazing and to make history would be incredible. And obviously you're, you're nearly there. It's, it's so tight at the top at the moment. That it could really go either way. But at the beginning of the season, did you... Did you feel that you could um, get as far as this, that you'd be in the position? Um, well, our goal was just to be like Francis, was to be the best team that we can be. So it was never like in our sights. Um, but the fact that it is in our hands now just shows how much credit to the girls that 
we have so much hunger and so much passion um, to go out and, and be in the position that we are in, and we're so thankful and grateful for it. And, and I suppose the same question I asked to Fran, what, what is it about your team that makes it, you know, so kind of tenacious when it comes to grinding out the, the big, important results? Um, I think it's this is the closest that we've ever been as a team, um, and the team spirit is at, is at an all-time high right now. Um, and I think it's just about the belief and the hunger and the passion that we have this season. And I think that we've started to realise that we do have really, really good players. Um, so it's just about going on and onto the park and focusing on training um, and just going out and seeing each game each week and getting the three points. Do you welcome the ideas they've done down south in the WSL of, of potentially playing a game at Celtic Park before a, a men's game? Um, it's always good to play um, against uh, any team at Parkhead, um, but we're always open to ideas and we're always um, looking for new options. So it would be something that we would be considering, yeah.